necessary necessities. Necessary necessities. Necessary necessities. and coming back to you with a quick red review today which is by Zuri Sis Hollywood or Sis Sister Wigs in the name of Miss Mabel. Mabel is in the color Cappuccino. S-O-M Cappuccino is the color I have her in but she does come with a lot of other colors. Special colors like S-O-M 2730, S-O-M Burgundy, S-O-M Ginger Light which I will be trying as well as that Oreo Choco which the models wear on the front of the stock car. Now she is shown here on the back in the forest green. Wearing that forest green. She's also that free flow and curl duration, soft touch, and lightweight texture. It's what she is. She is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, safe for us in heat, up to that. And the washing and care instructions are located here on the back. Now, those special clothes are pretty nice the way that I'm looking at them on the on the stock card. But you know, you kind of have to be you kind of have to be cautious about the stock card too, because that SOM cappuccino looks kind of yellowish on this stock card, but it's not yellowish in person. I'm going to show it to you guys in a few minutes. But I am going to be trying that um, SOM Ginger Light, like I said. This one right here I want to try, and that Oreo, which is right there on the front, honey. I like that. I really, really like that. So that's it for us to stock card. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the unit, and this is the unit, which is a full unit. She's a full wig cap, guys. And this is that color, that cappuccino, which seems to be like that color fawn, that uh, main concept has, that brown phone with that ash blonde. That's what it looks like. You know, all of them have their own color charts and they give them different names, which I think is pretty cool. You know, nobody wants to bite off anybody, okay, right? But that is the way the unit looks in the back. There's that unit in the back and there is in the top and there's the front. Now, the cap construction is as follows, you guys. You get your two forehead combs right here and that's that full wig cap construction right there, okay? And it's wefted cap. As you can see, those weft like you're going to lay some track hair. And far as the back, you guys, this is all I saw, honey. Look, tag. No nape neck comb. There is not a nape neck comb in this unit as well as you can show Joseph for straps, but no nape neck comb. Now, if somebody out there got this unit and I've been cheated out my nape neck comb, y'all let me know down in the comment section, please. Let me know if I've been cheated because I've really never had a full unit, cap unit, or a short wig that comes with combs, you know, in the top or the side of the temples and not one in the bag. That just kind of... You know, threw me a little bit. But if y'all, you know, like I said, if somebody got this unit out there and they just dropped the ball and cheated me out of my nape and neck comb, y'all let me know. I really won't know about that. Now, let's go on with this review. So, I showed you guys the cap, showed you guys a little short wig, and, you know, that's that. So, let me go ahead and take off this uh, head wrap or scarf or whatever you want to call it. And let that wig cap show, honey, do its thing. Ooh, child. Okay, let me go ahead on. Look, gotta look for this. this let me look for this tag now, girl, because I ain't no nip and neck comb. Okay, here we go. Let me go ahead and put this thing on. Got those forehead combs sitting in there, you guys. They are not located in the temple. They are those forehead combs, okay? But I will not be utilizing those. And that's why I'm so disappointed that it does not have a nape and neck comb. Because that's the only one that I like to use in my units. I don't use the temple or the forehead combs. None of the combs that comes up here, I never use them. But let me go ahead and put this unit on. Cap right off the top, you guys. It's a pretty nice size cap. It's a comfy cap. I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. It's not small or tight or anything like that. And I didn't even I didn't even adjust the straps on this thing. So the cap feels really, really good. It's comfy. Now, as far as this hair texture, soft and light. Yeah, I feel like it is for the most part. Yes, the hair texture is very, very nice. Okay, and that color. Let's go ahead and dive into this color a little bit. It's coming off on the camera, you know, in certain angles of the camera looking kind of yellowish. But believe me, you, this is really a like a white ash blonde it's like an ash blonde to be honest with you guys and if you see any yellowish it's kind of like where the brown and the the white goes together but it's really not yellow and i really like i'm liking this color like i said it reminds me of that main concept fawn color you know this brown that's what it reminds me of okay let me go ahead and show y'all what the stock card look like again and then i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all 360 of this unit me putting it right on but this is what the stock card once again came looking like Soft curls. And yeah, it does look like the stock card in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys a 360 with it going straight out the pack. Let 
And that is it for set 360. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try some styles with this unit. Now, on this stock car, she just has it pretty much like a pin curl look. You know, like a little soft curl swoop or something like that, which is not bad. Not bad. But y'all know me. I'm going to stick my hand in this unit a little bit, you guys. And just kind of have some fun with it, okay? So, this is all I'm going to be doing. It's not much curl placement. and doesn't look like I'm going to have to cut it at all. Period. Okay? Because the hair is short enough for me. And it's not all down my neck. And I can really appreciate that. Easy to style. Texture is, it is very flowy, like they said. There is no part, just a full wig. So, you know, you just work with the fibers. Don't have to worry about covering up a part or whatever. And just continue to work with those fibers. And place them where you want to place them. The curls, that is. Now, if I was to cut anything, it may be those little hard curls on the side of this unit if I were to cut it. If I were to cut it, but I may not have to. But this is one of the styles that I've gotten right off the top. Just messed around with this unit. Hmm. Looks promising. It does look promising. Looks very promising, as a matter of fact. But that's a cute little cut, little pixie cut, I think. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. What you think about this style? But that's a real quick style, and I think I like it, ladies. Let me go ahead and turn around, let you guys see what it looks like on the sides and back, which it shouldn't look that much different. This is the front. This is the right. This is the left. And here it is to the back. That's what she's looking like as far as that style. Now I'm going to go ahead on and pull it all down into like a little boy pixie cut. Which it pretty much came out the pack like that almost. But we're going to go ahead on and do it anyway. Put us a little part on the side. Like a little boy pixie cut. Not as, you know, short around the face. But, you know, gives it sort of kind of like that illusion. I call it a boy pixie cut, you know. Kind of sort of on like that. Now, hold on. See if I can get that little curl. That'll do something a little different there. See if I can pull these back, make it look a little short around the frame of the face. Come down on the side. Okay, there it is. This is my second style with this unit. I like this unit, but this is it to the front. And I'm not going to be changing the back, but I'm, so I'm not going to turn around to the back. But I didn't have to change the back. But this is the front. This is it to the right. And this is it to the left. Hmm. I'm feeling this unit. I really, really am. And of course, you know, you probably can create other styles like a mohawk. You want to do like a little short mohawk. And I'm liking the texture on this unit. I'm liking the texture. I'm liking the curls. I'm liking the length. Um... And I'm liking the versatility of this unit. And this color is, whoa. You know, people know me, know that I have done a lot. If you watch this channel, I've done a lot of blondes on my channel. I am a blonde person. And this, yeah, ooh, honey, I'm liking this. I'm definitely going to be getting the other colors. That ginger light and that Oreo Choco will definitely be coming home, honey. And there's a little, like, slight mohawk look. A little slight mohawk. That's cute. Look at that. Very versatile. Do your thing, Zero Mabel. That name, Mabel, honey. Strong name. All right, strong unit. Okay, I like this. That's it to the front. It to the right. It to the left. And it's color, baby. I was looking at this unit for a while, you guys, and I slept on it. I was sleeping on it because she's been out for a little while, but, honey, I'm so glad that I got her. When I tell you I'm glad that I got it, this, this, this girl, honey. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm glad I got her. But let me go ahead and wrap this thing up, you guys, by going ahead on and saying what I say. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, honey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Continue to watch and support. I thank you so, so, so much. If you are interested in sharing this video, go right ahead on and hit that share button, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with sharing. What they say, sharing is caring. For all those who are watching, bye for now.